It's Chuck Norris Friday. Chuck Norris Friday. <laughs> when Chuck Norris left home for college, he said to his father, "You're the man of the house now." <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. Chuck Norris doesn't climb trees. He just pulls them down and walks on top of them. <laughs> the Rock asked Chuck Norris how many push-ups he could do. Chuck Norris replied, "All of them." <laughs> don't know. Chuck Norris can kill two stones with one bird. <laughs> There's no chin behind Chuck Norris' beard. There's <laughs> can't do it. There's no chin behind Chuck Norris' beard. There's only a hidden extra fist. <laughs> Chuck Norris can slam a revolving door. <laughs> a total eclipse is the sun's way of not looking directly at Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris <laughs> sleeps with a nightlight. Not because Chuck Norris is afraid of the dark, but the dark is afraid of Chuck Norris. <laughs> Hey, we'll be right back. He's got a fist behind his beard, though. It's a hidden extra fist. <laughs> That's pure comedy right there. Good, good like whoever morning. wrote that one. Good morning. Welcome to Wake Up. Where we wake up. I'm Pastor Scott. I'm Pastor Jason. So good to have you with us. We're going to do a morning scripture. We're going to pray every day. It's going to be a lot of fun. Today, we're going to be in Ruth chapter 4. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes. And to share. But yeah, we're going to be where? Ruth chapter 4 and verses 1 through oh, 2. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. We're talking about the battle. Yeah, the battle is at the gate. Your message this weekend, you, you need to go watch this it's it it talks about winning the battle at the gate or or turning it back and and it's really about your mind what you choose to think about because if you can beat it at the gate right when it's trying to be thought about right I mean, thoughts are going to come right but do we think about the thoughts that came that's different isaiah 28 talks about see isaiah 28 talks about the strength is for those that push back the battle at the gate and so god's strength comes when we no longer let we stop it like the tsa agent how much uh weapons do we want to let through we want to let nothing through yeah. we don't we don't want to let security lets nothing dangerous get through that's mm -hmm. the goal mm -hmm. because once it gets through then it becomes a mess i have a i have a really nice backyard it's beautiful um, I'm very proud of it. I did it. I worked really hard on designing it. I'm very hands on, oh, you know. No, Jay, when Jason designed something. And, uh, and uh, but but the dog goes out, you know, I have this little, this cutest little Bower Terrier. His he name is, is Captain really Jack Sparrow. But, you know, he goes and does his business all over my backyard. And I don't know how much he eats or how, I don't understand the proportion or the ratio of weight to dog to how much he messes up my backyard, but it is ridiculous. <laughs> It's a ridiculous yeah, amount of mess. I've been back there. So we're building a little area where he can kind of, he'll get to play, but for the most part, he's going to kind of stay in this area on the side of the house. Is he going to look like the cows where you're just going to put him through like a little fence? So I'm he's putting a his head? fence up to keep the mess from getting in. Right. There's going to be a little gate and we can open the gate and close the gate. And from inside the house, he can go in and out and come and go as he pleases, but he's gated once he's in the backyard. So and, we're gating our thoughts. And it's because you can get a lot of crud. Right. In the backyard of your heart, if you don't have a gate over that little dog that likes to think about the wrong things. <laughs> That's just good. I wish I had that. That little song. dog runs around and he just poops all over it's your... It's all over. And then, you, step and then you come home and you're so mad at everybody and it's because your thoughts got all... And you're negative and now you're going to sleep offended. Right. And you're worried about all things that you can't... You're worried about things you can't even change. Things that don't even matter. And, and uh, because why? Because we've, we've allowed all this poop all over our backyard. Yeah, you step in it when you're just trying to enjoy your little walk outside. Yeah. And Put it in a doggy door it. and then build a gate. Build a gate. That's a good thing for you today. Build a doggy door of your mind. <laughs> and make sure you stop every thought. Yeah. You'd be amazed at, at, if you'll just stop every single one of them. We battle out here. So you battle with friends, spouses. You battle with your, your teenagers out there. You're battling with your parents. And you don't realize, you're like, well, if I could change them. But you realize if you could just stop the thought. It would stop your response. It would stop what you're creating. Yeah. Um, we went, we'd gone over the weekend to something and um, at this gathering, I'm just going to put it out there. This is a gathering that you and I were at. There was somebody that was just wanted to battle me. Everything that I said, I, it was wrong. Yeah. And it, it went on for like 10 minutes. It was me. It wasn't Jason. It would never be you. But it was, you, you know what I'm talking about. Everything I said, yeah. it was like not the best way to parent. It was not the best thing that I'm doing and everything. Yeah. And it just kept getting to my TSA agent. And my TSA agent goes, you know what? Whatever. Who cares? Yeah. And I just smiled and I continued on. I didn't have to argue with him. I didn't have to 
tell him all the things that was wrong with him. Yes. And that's the power of stopping it at the gate. Now, when you let it in, then what happens is not only you were all worked up inside and emotional now because even. somebody attacked you, but now also you start thinking about all the things you should have said, could have said, right. wanted to say, and they, I, you hurt me, I'm going to hurt you back. Yeah, let me tell you what's wrong with your but, life. But Jesus is like, no, I want you to return evil with good. And right. you, well, how do you do that? Well, you got to not let the evil in. Yeah, so it yeah. doesn't impact you at all. And Ruth chapter 4 and verse 1, story of Ruth, amazing story about a woman that was redeemed. And, and Boaz, this kinsman redeemer, is really a picture of Christ. She's a picture of the church. It's an amazing story. But just kind of grabbing a little piece of this story, this is the moment of redemption of Ruth's life. It says, meanwhile, Boaz went up to the town gate. It's in the gate. Check this out. And he sat down there. Mm -hmm. Just as the guardian redeemer he had mentioned came along. Boaz said, come over here, my friend, and sit down. So now they're both sitting at the gate. Now watch this. He says, so he went over and sat down. Boaz took 10 of the elders of the town and said, sit here. And they did so. And, and I was looking at that, the elders of the, at the gate, that Deuteronomy 22, Deuteronomy 25, has the elders sitting at the gate. Right. So who are the elders? The, the, the wise people. Mm -hmm. Where do the wise people, the, the wisdom, the voice of wisdom and reason belongs sitting at, at the, the gate. gate? So what I'm saying is it's like, when a thought comes in, you want the smartest part of you, the most reasonable part of you, right. to sit at the so gate good, and go, Jason. hmm, is this going to help my future or hurt my future? Right. Because I could, if I could stop this at the gate, then we're going to win. But I think sometimes we, we have foolishness manning the gate. Right. We have uh, earthly desires manning the gate. We have the wrong kind of thing sitting at the gate. That just and lets they, anything in the gate. Oh, come on in. Get in there. That's going to be fun to think about. You know, it's fun to think about a fence. Hey, let's think about that thing that happened a few years ago. Let's uh, let's mull that over for today. You know, come on in there. Thinking about negativity is fun. As weird as it sounds, it's actually, it it's, feels like, it's like a Twinkie. Because it's like the flesh. It feels come good. Come on in, man. Oh, Got boy. some negativity in. Hey, we got a song. Here's the old Tiffany song. Right, and you throw the old song. Think on. we're alone now, uh, right? Doesn't seem what could have been? No, it's one of one of us. No, it's a one about what could have been. Like what pastors, don't ever sing that song been again. So beautiful. I don't even know that song. Yeah, yeah. could have been so beautiful. Could have been so right. What is the song? Tiffany's could have been. But, but why is it? Why is Tiffany letting in something negative? I'm right. trying to follow you. No, I'm, I'm, like I'm saying, like people want you want to have that negative, the breakup. So you got the breakup song oh, going. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, oh, what that does is it gets, it gets the atmosphere all going in the mind, and before long, you're feeling down and what you missed out on and what you didn't have. It's really fun to feel bad about yourself. It, it is. feels good. And if you have the bad about yourself feeling guy manning the gate, yeah. he's going to be like, wait, we're going to feel bad about ourselves? Oh my gosh. Get that in here. I'm so excited. Rejection? Please, come on in. Enjoy the town. Have fun. This is so, there's a party there's great in the shopping house. in here. Woo. You have a good time. Yeah. We're going to take hey, a load off. Go talk to Discouragement, man. He's back in the corner by himself. <laughs> Discouragement. <laughs> Go over there and talk to rejection. He's feeling really alone. Yeah, he's, he's like, <laughs> and we let them all in, and then we wonder why our attitude and why life. But if you man the gate, is I like get the, the wisdom, smart guys at the get gate. Get the smart guys at the gate that go wait a second. Discouragement. You're not going to give us a good day. I'm not. No, I'm not going to let you in. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm manning this. I'm in charge of this. Hey, Are you sure we're going to have fun? No. Yeah, I can't let you in. I know it's fun, but it, it's it's not going to produce a good life. Ultimately, it's not fun. Say, so, hey, Joy, you know what? In the back there. Joy, get in here. Yeah, we're going to get everybody part of the way. Joy's coming in. We're going to let Joy in. Let some peace in there. Some confidence. You showed up. You're yeah. here. Yeah. And you find out all of a sudden. And what happens is if you've done this long enough, you're in the beginning, it's almost like you're manning the gates. Yeah. It really is. Mm -hmm. And then it becomes a habit. And I find that my TSA agents work on their own. They do. They really do. They're doing a job. I get done now that I'm thinking about it. I'm like, oh, you guys did good today. Mm -hmm. I had a bunch of times I could have been gotten offended. I could have got mad. I could have yeah. got hurt. You know, there's people in my life, they just, they say things and you just have to block them out. So go get the elders <laughs> in your brain to go sit at the gate. Sometimes you have to go get them and say, hey, come over here. Right. I need you to that's sit so at the good, gate, Jason. man the gate. Let's be smart about our day. Let's be smart about our thoughts. And that's something that we need to do every morning. Every morning, go get the elders and sit them at the gate. And then go through your day, and your day is going to be so much different. It's going to be so much better. It's going to be so much more so filled with peace and less turmoil. Let's pray. I wish I had that for Sunday. I always get stuff when you talk. But that's why we do wake up, is to kind of expand things. I know, things but my going. sermon would be I better. I feel the same way when you talk about be whatever so I've been teaching. Better. Thank you. Dang it. 
Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we ask that you... See how I let them through the gate? Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I ask right now that you bless them. You give them a great day. Help mm. them to put the elders at the gate, to get the right people at the gate in a sense that block out everything that's discouraging, everything that's bad, everything that's negative, but instead that they're only going to let in, as, as Philippians says, only going to let in those things that are praiseworthy, those things that are encouraging, those things that build up, those things that make me believe that I can overcome whatever's in front of me, those things that bring peace to my life and bring joy. Those are the only things, everything else, I turn away at the gate. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, watch this clip. Isaiah 28, verse 5 and 6. In that day, the Lord Almighty will be a glorious clown. Cl clown? My gosh. <laughs> change the whole scripture. Just like that. Just change it all. That's going to go all over the YouTube. <laughs> Pastors are going to be talking about yeah, This is what Scott said. So now we got to have it bleeped out when I do that. And God is going, beep. All right, so God is, will be a glorious crowd. <laughs> that might be the funniest thing I've ever said. And a beautiful wreath with a remnant of his people. Verse 6. He will be a spirit of justice to the one who sits in judgment and a source of strength, that's key, underline that, to those who turn back the battle at the gates. Where's the battle? Where's the battle? Okay, so he'll turn back, those that'll turn back the battle at the gates, number two, write down the strength. Today really is about making sure that you have the strength for the battles that matter. The enemy would love to get you battling out there somewhere and chasing down things that should be running from you, right? Battling things that should be going in the opposite way, getting you to stay up at night about imaginary battles that really are not yours to fight. If he can get you over here battling this relationship and battling the, the boss and battling the economy and get you to battle everywhere out there, then you don't have the strength and the resources for the battle that has to take place at the gate. God says, I'll be your strength if you'll turn back the battle at the gate is where the battle is. And when we're thinking about security, I was thinking about this with Joel Olstein. on we're out there, right number three down at the gate. I was thinking, you know, you walk in, you got to go through the big metal detectors. And I, then I thought, at Disneyland now, even to get into Disneyland, you got to go through their metal detectors and go through their gate. TSA, of course, the big one, when you want to get in and go on a flight, you got to go through the security that happens at the gates. TSA is concerned with stopping stuff at the gates. Their concern is not the parking lot. Their concern is not what's going on at Superstition Springs Mall. Their concern isn't what's happening out there somewhere. They know that their battle is at the gate. And if they let a weapon or anything get past the gate, then back here, we're not really as prepared to battle it here. How many weapons do they want to stop at the gate? 90%? No. They want all of them. Because every one they let through makes a big mess over here. But then once again, think about this. They're not down where you're sitting to get on the plane past the security checkpoint doing their security there. That's not where they're pulling people aside and trying to find people as they're walking around, down around the Wendy's. That's not where they're doing that. Right? Because if we do everything at the gate, then I don't have to waste my energy. Because you know how much resources would be trying to figure out and catch people down way over there? Right? We'd be wasting all... No, get everybody at the gate. And it's at the gate that we're going to stop everything from going through. Everything that we go, go through now has the ability to hinder where the planes are going, whether they can take off, the delay, and the same thing for you and I. That everything that stops at the gate, that's our battle. I don't battle out here. I just do the battle at the gate, and in that I get the strength. Give us a thumbs up, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Share. If you're ever in the Arizona area, please come hang out with us. Uh, if not, go to your church. Go to church. Don't Find forget it. to be in church this weekend, yeah, wherever yeah. it is. Church refreshes, restores, mm. it just makes life better. If you're part of the Living Word family, you happen to live around here, we encourage you. Come out, we're starting a new relationship series. Starts this weekend. Right. And you're going to like this. It's, it's everywhere called relationship too. Relationship goals. Every one of our pastors is teaching on relationships for the next three weeks. Amen. Mm -hmm.